Good morning, folks. We've got some space weather, eye candy, and we're going to look at big time progress in cosmology and catastrophism. Thing is, both of those are from the same paper. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun was really only quiet in X ray production. The sunspots are roaring back on the south amidst the coronal holes. All of a sudden, there are three sunspot groups on the Earth facing half of the sun. Hopefully, the one incoming decays as it's turning in with longitudinal spread. The active regions are certainly crackling as the solar cycle slowly ramps up here. Also, top left, that carve-out shape is another active region we just can't see yet. This one's incoming on the north. Okay, folks, let's do that eye candy up next, but first we're heading back in time to NASA's infamous supermassive black hole binary simulation. Infamous because of the black sphere in the center between the binary objects. The black sphere was not modeled. They just pretended it wasn't there and want us to do the same. The central node and most energetic point in the system, and they pretended it didn't exist. This is the same conceptual animation, but from a zoomed-in lensing perspective. Computer model simulation of guesses worked into more guesses, but uh, yeah, sure, it's pretty. Okay, now here's the main course, and for this, we are looking at the galactic midplane and circumgalactic medium. We've looked at their character from the electromagnetic component to the more vast extent of these regions. The 2015 discovery is now confirmed and it should change a lot of science. There is a massive, cold, molecular disk extending from the midplane of the galaxy, way, way out past what many considered to be the border of the galaxy. No previous survey could detect it because it was too cold and too diffuse the exact reasons we said they weren't finding the normal matter out there. This is in the same galactic structure and dynamics realm as the massive Andromeda plasma halo, not only discovered to be supermassive, but extending so far as to hit the plasma halo of the Milky Way. This is where a core aspect of the plasma cosmology comes into play. The galaxy is much more than the capital city of lights in a spiral. As we head out to the rural galactic communities, we continually find their discovery of not only the extra normal matter, where dark matter was supposed to be, but its existence as a coherent galactic structure, a large-scale electromagnetic and gravitational system, also means there are electromagnetic effects they're missing on top of its gravity. Now that large-scale structure, as veteran observers can guess, it is including the same torus, jet, mid-plane electric field setup as has been believed to exist in the galaxy, and which exists in the solar system as well. For some perspective, just yesterday we saw how this sheet in the solar system can deliver an electromagnetic storm to Earth. The same can happen on the Sun, except the galactic sheet isn't a clean work by plasma and magnetic fields like the Sun's. The galaxy is polluted, dusty, and by the way, in terms of currents, the auroral currents that light up Earth's poles are about a million amps. The Sun's current sheet is three billion amps and goes out past all the planets. They have never measured or considered the effects of the galactic current but we're pretty sure with this new study about the mid-plane extension, its galactic current sheet is going out that far as well. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about the galactic current sheet, solar system shift, and solar disaster with our new book, The Next End of the World. It's available at otf.cells.com. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.